Okay, the first thing you do is you're going to go to www.autodesk.com. Okay. Once you're here, you're going to scroll right down to the bottom. You're going to go to Students and Educators. Okay, pretty straightforward. Then you're going to scroll down again. I oh, know, sorry, here you go to Students. Okay, click on Student. Now it's going to ask you create account, get product. So create account. Let's go to AutoCAD, it'll tell you to get started. This is a bit buggy sometimes, so you got to, sometimes you gotta keep refreshing it at the top. So now it's gonna ask you to create account. Now you need to start typing in so where are you from? It's going to ask a lot of personal information, but we will erase that. I'm a student. Institution, post. Put in your date of birth to me. I don't know why they want to know that. Okay, click next for me. Okay, so your first and second name. This is very important. Always use your um, tax email address, okay? So that you and uh, student number at tax. And then confirm that email for me, please. And then just set up a password that you're going to use to access this information. Then again, I'll, that will all be locked as well, okay? choose your password. I always make the same as my portal. Then say I agree to the Autodesk terms and conditions and say create account. Okay, now you need to type an in institution's name. So that's Pretoria, uh, University of Pretoria. There it is there, so you can literally just click that. Great. Okay then, um, date enrollment. So when you started in your first year, yeah. I just always use January, it's fine. Okay. And then when you expect it to finish your degree, masters. So masters. Yeah, so make it 2023 or 20, uh, yeah, 2023 or 2024. Yeah, and then make it, that can change, so don't worry, as long as it, you've got enough period in which you're gonna be studying, first mm -hmm. January well yeah go next so what this is going to do now you must say yes and say continue you can also untick that I'll show you how to unsubscribe from that that's fine okay now you're going to scroll down again this is quite interesting go back up to AutoCAD for example so get started again now what it's going to do it's going to say is this information, information correct yeah. confirm Okay, confirm, so click on that for me. Now now you need to sign into your UP portal to confirm that you're a student here. Log in. Okay, there it says um, yes, continue. Okay, now it's gonna verify that you're part of the university. Sometimes, this process, it will just stop working. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. It will say pending for a long period of time. But just hit the refresh button for me there sometimes. Sometimes it will happen straight away. Sometimes it gets stuck. Mm -hmm. Verification was already completed. Go back to your product. Say so get software now. You've been confirmed. Great. You now, you're now <laughs> part of the system. Amen. Yes, there we go. Get the software. And now you can say get product. So when you say get product now, and always we're going to use the 2020 version for this. Mm -hmm. On your machine, you can click install for me and just say accept. It's going to give you a license already. So now you can sit on any of these machines and literally sign in with your user details and it'll oh, be licensed. Great. And at home. So you can download it at home, use it okay. at home. So here it downloads, and now you can run the installation. But on this machine, 
you just do this once to get the mm -hmm. license. You can delete that file. If, you've, if it's already installed, you can simply delete that file. Okay. Okay. But that's fine. You're now a member. Okay. 